But I thought I'd come in because you wanted to have a chat and catch up anyway, didn't you? Yeah. But I don't take Cam's um, benefits. Yeah. And I can't facilitate it. Be a macerator to push the ship literally <laughs> up. I miss back to the street. No. You, you really, you really made something nicer. Yeah. I'd say. Yes. Whatever the issue is, we'll always overcome it. So we just go into one of my properties, um, which is an old terraced, completely different to the rest of my portfolio because I originally bought it to sell it back in 2014, but the market changed slightly and we decided to rent it short term to students. And normally it's a three bed terrace, we'd get four bedrooms out of it, but we made it a nice three bed to sell and it was never gonna give a great return, we thought, as a three bed. But this is what changed our attitude towards offering a premium product because we did it really nice. New kitchens, new bathrooms, you know, much nicer finish than our other student houses. And what happened is the students who took it were happy to pay a premium for it. So we ended up keeping it because it was actually a really easy one to manage and it always rented really well. And for years, for a three bed, we've been getting sort of 1,885 per calendar month, including the bills. But more recently, we've dropped the bills and we're getting closer to 1,500 quid. The reason why I'm here today though, and you can't fucking write this stuff. So the tenants who have just moved in come from one of my other properties. Now the other property had a prohibition notice on it when I bought the property. We've done some TikToks on it. Now the prohibition was all over the place. We satisfied it without even knowing it and they kept finding new things which weren't relating to the prohibition. Anyway, long story short, Norwich City Council have used that property to come and attack me in every which way, including this property. Now this property had three students in, but one girl, absolute nightmare of a tenant, nothing was good enough, wanted a toilet seat changing, a brand new mattress, even though the mattress was new, and all these other things. She complained that her room wasn't big enough, and when it came to it, it doesn't meet the minimum 6.51 meters square. It's like 6.49, so it's within a gnat's chuff. But the prohibition team were foaming at the mouth to try and bring another case against me. So they actually put a prohibition notice on this property for a small room size. Now, that enabled the tenant to leave. But when we decided to start really fighting this, we found some case law and we refurbished this to sell it as a family home which means the downstairs where we would normally put the fourth bedroom is effectively a massive open plan live in come diner and it's got a kitchen diner what i'm saying is it's got a huge amount of communal space and we found case law which suggested that even if the room size is slightly small if there's a evidence of an excessive amount of communal space there's an argument to be had and one of those arguments was that the tenants must have already formed an existing group. So they're not three individuals, but they come on one AST as an already formed group. Well, that was the case for the previous tenants. And because we were able to prove that, we had to fight them a little bit, but it was another victory over Norwich City Council. So as a result, we moved these guys in from the property where we had the other prohibition, because to satisfy that, we had to rent that to the shop tenant underneath. And we moved these guys into this house because they were already formed group. That process enabled us to get both prohibitions lift off both properties that weren't even worried in the first place. So that all happened while I was in Dubai. One of my guys looked after it for me. So we're here to see the tenants, make sure everything's okay and have a chat with them.